to part 20 uh, of Java tutorial in this section I will show you how you can work with polymorphism in Java in the previous videos uh, as you see uh, we work how we can download and install e Eclipse so now we have the Eclipse so let's get started Now uh, we have a class Java app and I want to make another class inside this file Java app.java I want to make a class A okay and then I want to make a class B okay now we have two class here okay now I want to extend the class A inside the class B. I want to make a method a variable A private integer A is equal to 100. Okay. and then I want to make a public method get a and then return the a okay now as you can see a is super class is subclass I want to make this inside the B also I want to change this to B this change to B and B okay so Now what is a polymorphism? Uh, polymorphism also means uh, you work uh, you work with uh, multiple modifier with the same name. Okay, for example, method or overloading is polymorphism, or also from one reference. Uh, from one type you can have multiple reference if there is uh, parent and subclass or superclass and subclass exists that means polymorphism okay for example we have a as the superclass and b the as the subclass can see the method get p is undefined for the a 
okay you just call all the method and variable which declared inside a class but we have the reference of class B as you can see reference of this class okay can see this works nice this is the polymorphism okay also if you have class C which extends class B, B. okay then we can make another class C as you can see the areas no problem but with A1 also you, you just have access just in A okay that works nice public string get class name here I want to make a variable of a type okay then f OBJ was an instance of B then return you pass B reference dollars F OBJ was an instance of C then return you pass C reference okay else return something else now if I pass here new B This is an object, okay. This is an object, friends. If I pass this to the method class new Java app dot 
get class name and here if pass new p and it it will return this as you can see you pass b reference if you pass a then it will return something else fc as p reference okay that's because of this run and as you can see you pass the c reference this was polymorphism also you can tell for method overriding and method overriding as as like as polymorphism okay so thank you for your watching and see you in the next video goodbye